G'day guys, it's Carla from Navigo Travel. Today, something different, I'm not in the garage, I'm not working on the car. I'm out here in Pagolban, in the Hunter Valley. It's a magical lookout, I know. So I've had my companion 60 litre fridge for a while now. Um, I did say I was going to do a review on it, so here I am, today's the day. I'm going to show you my fridge, tell you a little bit about it, and tell you why I think it's good. So come on, come with me, we'll go and have a look at her. And for everyone asking me for an update on my battery pack, I will give it to you. Um, it's still probably a couple of weeks off, but it is going good and I am loving it. The hardest thing I've found is just getting myself into the habit of changing the way I do things. So getting solar panels out, changing the fridge over to the battery pack. But I'm not here to talk about the battery pack today. I'm here to talk about this bad boy. So what makes a good fridge? In my opinion, it's got to keep your stuff ice cold. Obviously it's a fridge, that's what you're buying it for. But it's got to be efficient, which this thing is. It sits, it probably sits around that one amp, generally speaking, um, one amp an hour. And it's got to be durable, like tough. And again, this thing. <laughs> I didn't have it tied down too well when I went to Fraser, and uh, you know, it survived okay. It's made out of metal. Mine's obviously a little bit rough, it's had a few knocks. <laughs> one of the things I like about having a metal fridge is magnetic lights and things like that stick to it, which. It's unbelievably handy when you're at camp. It's efficient. The reason, don't mind the singing in it, but the reason it's efficient is it's a thick fridge. Like that's how thick the insulation is on it. Again, the lid's the same, it's relatively thick. Another thing I think is cool about this fridge is it has a couple of built-in LED lights. So when it's dark, while they're not super bright, they're bright enough to be able to see what beers you're grabbing, things like that, which is cool. Now, why I don't have much in it at the moment, space-wise, I can fit 90 cans plus a couple of packets of snags, which is heaps. In saying that, though, you could probably stack it better and get more in it. Metal latches, so holds it nice and secure. Uh, metal handles, easy to tie down off. Feels nice and strong, doesn't feel like it's going anywhere, doesn't feel like it's going to break. If you can see that, the handles fold pretty compact, like that would maybe stick out, oh, I'll call it, a centimetre off the side, if that. With the companion fridges too, they've got LG compressors in them. So I guess for me, um, you think about LG electronics, they've been around for a long time. So you got a little bit of trust that it's gonna work and it's gonna work well. So it's efficient enough and it's cold. Like it's always cold. So I got solar input. I've actually got no drawer on my fridge at the moment. So I've got my fridge set at three. It's currently sitting at one. So naturally, there's no draw on the battery pack because it's where it needs to be. I can assure you that that panel, whilst it looks like it's flickering, it's not. Camera and LCD, it just doesn't pick it up. I don't know why. Digital display, so it's easy to see what's going on. The panel's actually recessed a little bit. One thing I think is cool, and I haven't had this on my other fridges, so it's got compressor speed, so you can run it on EK, you can run it on max. Obviously, I not long plug this in when I come out here, so I just run it on max just to get it to temperature. Of course, once you got it where you need it to be, you can put it on eco. And battery protection, so a high, mid and low setting on it. The idea with battery protection is the fridge senses the power your battery has, whether you've got it plugged into your car, your battery pack, etc. It'll automatically cut off. So another thing too, it's got this little battery um, gauge here. So each one of them little dots on the battery actually tell you what percentage the battery's at. So in the book, it tells you all the actual voltages that your battery will be at, which is sort of cool because then you have an idea of what your fridge is doing or what your battery's doing. This compressor's just kicked in. I just want to let you hear the sound. It's relatively quiet for a big fridge. Nothing good about this fridge is it's got soft closed hinges. So, it's sort of got like a bit of a spring on the back of it, but it actually, that lid holds up by itself. So there's nothing but the hinges holding that up. And then yeah, it doesn't slam it down. So, a simple feature, but not a lot of camping fridges have that. So I think that's an awesome bit of gear. Power wise, obviously I'm running that off the battery pack at the moment, but you can run it off 240 volt. If you're loading the fridge up before you go and camping the night before, plug it into the wall, run it off your house power. That way when you put it, plug it into the car, it's gonna draw nothing. Um, also three year warranty on it. So, you know, companion back their gear. The LG compressor, like I say, it's a dual speed compressor. LG's good good gear, it's been around for a long time. It's got a reputation, so it's easy to trust. It's easy to know that this is gonna be a reliable fridge. How bloody good's that for you too? It's unreal, isn't it? Here's a Hunter Valley put it on today. Um, you can get transit bags for these fridges too. So, um, you know, that's in hindsight, that's what I should have done. I should have put a protective transit bag on it. Uh, probably wouldn't have any dents on it. And the one, the benefit of them transit bags too is it keeps it uh, nice and cool. 
so it helps insulate the fridge. Yeah, I don't know if everyone knows this, but obviously the cooler you keep the fridge, the less the compressor runs, the less the compressor runs, the less power it uses, the more efficient it is. So that's basically the way it works. So with these big fridges, obviously the more stuff you have in them that's cold, the easier it is to keep it cold. Um, the problem with a big fridge is when you put 60 litres of stuff in there that's not cold and you try to get it to the temperature, it actually uses a lot of power. So that is a downfall, but that's just a big fridge thing. What else can I tell you about it? It's a bloody good fridge. But yeah, for me, I'm happy with it. I like it. Um, in hindsight, if I was to do it again, I would get the same fridge, but I wish I could get like a 40 litre model. A smaller version of it would be nice. Ultimately for me, 60 litres is probably too much for what I'm doing at the moment. Great for when I've got the whole family with me and we go away for a long time. Plenty of room for it. But for me and the boys, when we do our little boys trips and, you know, our weekenders, it's probably a lot of fridge for what we're doing. I'll give you the pros and cons of the fridge and I'll tell you why I love it and why I think it's a good thing. The recessed LCD display, love that. Obviously the thick insulation and the amount of space, it's great. The fact that the handles fall flat and power wise for such a big fridge, it doesn't really use that much power. So that's what I love about it. Now the cons, the basket rattles around a little bit. Although we have fixed that. This is me nitpicking too, right? That only annoys me when it's in the car empty and I can hear the basket because I leave the lid ajar when it's in the car. With the lid closed, you wouldn't hear it. This is the first metal fridge I've had. While I love being able to stick stuff to it magnetic wise, one thing I've realized since having this fridge is I'm actually pretty rough on And that's why I've got dents and paint missing, etc. So simple solution, put a transfer bag on it. The biggest pro with this fridge as well, which I forgot to mention, is the cost. So the RRP for a 60 litre fridge sits in at just under 900 bucks. One thing I've noticed is you can always seem to get deals on them. So they are a really reasonably priced fridge. It's a lot of fridge for the money. And then all the tech that you get on it, all the cool features, it's really good value for money for what it is. And it is a bloody awesome fridge. Yeah, overall, I think the companion fridge is the top of the gear. The cons for me, they're minor. Overall, I'm happy with it. I love it. It keeps a beer cold and it keeps a lot of beers cold. So, you know, that's a good thing. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. So I think it's a good bit of gear, but tell me what you think. Feel free to comment below. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And of course, guys, until next time, go travel.